Hello and welcome to Master Tech Corner. I'm your host, Brad Watkins. I'm a Master Diagnostic Technician at Volkswagen North Scottsdale, dealer code 422231. In this exciting episode, I'm going to identify as well as describe the functionality and the components of the fuel system on a 2016 Passat with a 1.18 CPRA engine. There are nine main components in this fuel system, and they all work together to get the fuel out of the tank and into the engine so that the engine can run at optimal performance as well as optimal emissions. The brains behind this operation is the Engine Control Module, or ECM, J623. It is located in the engine compartment next to the battery. The ECM gets signals from the fuel system, determines what needs to happen with those signals very fast, and then outputs different signals back to the fuel system to make corrections that are needed to help the engine run at optimal performance and optimal emissions. The fuel tank stores the fuel and is located in the rear of the vehicle. It has an 18.5 gallon capacity. It has a gas cap that holds pressure during leak detection as well as keeps fuel vapors inside the tank. The, uh, there's a rollover valve with vent valve. The vent valve vents the fuel vapors into the EVAP system and the rollover valve is used in case of a rollover accident. The vehicle is upside down valve closes and does not allow fuel to flow out of the tank for safety reasons. Fuel pump control module, J538, is located on top of the fuel tank. Fuel pump control module sends a voltage signal to the transfer fuel pump, G6, depending on what the ECM requests of it. It also transfers a signal from the fuel level center, G, to the instrument cluster so that the fuel gauge knows how much fuel is in the tank. Inside the fuel tank is the fuel transfer pump, pump G6. G6 has a few components that are part of it. The fuel filter, the fuel pressure regulator, and the one-way check valve to help keep pressure in the system when the engine is shut off for a minimum of 10 minutes. G6 gets a voltage regulated signal from the uh, fuel pump control module and it'll have an output of 4 bar to 7 bar, depending on what the ECM is requesting. From here, we go to the high pressure fuel pump. The high pressure fuel pump is located at the brake uh, vacuum pump and is driven off the exhaust camshaft via four lobes at the end of the camshaft. These four lobes help to increase fuel pressure rapidly. Built into the high pressure fuel pump is N276. N276 regulates the high pressure fuel system via a uh, signal from the ECM and it will vary the output of the high pressure fuel pump depending on uh, what load is on the engine, uh, what conditions that the ECM wants to see. From the high pressure fuel pump we go to the fuel rail. The fuel rail is loaded, located underneath the intake manifold and it houses the um, fuel pressure sensor, G247, as well as the fuel injectors. G247, the high side fuel pressure sensor, is located midway uh, on the um, fuel rail and it reads up to 200 bar and also sends a signal out to the ECM so that the ECM knows exactly what the high pressure system is doing so that it can vary the pressure depending on what it would like to see via N276. From the fuel rail, we go to the fuel injectors, N30 to N33, there's four of them. They are solenoid type injectors and are duty cycle controlled by the ECM. These injectors directly inject fuel into the cylinder, hence direct injection. At the end of each injector is six holes. These six holes atomize the fuel as they exit and they spray at a 50 degree spray pattern into the cylinder. This helps to reduce hydrocarbons, also to help reduce particulates in the cylinders, and to reduce oil thinning. The fuel mixture uh, can mix with the incoming air from the intake stroke, and uh, it creates optimal performance as well as optimal emissions. This was the fuel system of the 2016 Passat CPRA 1.18. Thank you very much. My name is Brad Watkins, dealer code 422231.